how deep it is. It's very deep. Can you see him under the water somewhere? Um, can you see him swimming? Here he comes. Look. Here he comes. Look. Look. Oh. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have a look. Can you see? Yeah. And down. is a long-nosed fur seal. And did you know that you have something in common with Abel? Take a look at your hand. Now take a look at Abel. As you can see, we need to work with our seals. He's not gonna do anything that he doesn't want to do. And that's totally fine. Oh, here we go. He's got the courage now. Perfect. Beautiful dive. Now the behavior that Abel's about to demonstrate is that I was talking about before. As he's cruising through as well, you might hear him take a quick breath of air. But this is a really energy efficient way for seals to travel around. Other marine species also use this type of behavior to travel. Nice. Well, Jose and Abel have done an amazing job there. Brad is holding a Marley shape, which is the pink flower. We train our seals to recognize these shapes and touch their nose to the shape. Oh, hello. You see, fish. So Brad's just blown the whistle. We've put the shapes down, and if Amali gets her shape, let's give her a big round of applause. She's done very well on the first go. So teaching our seals this really helps us as keepers when we're trying to. Yeah. So let's make Bondi with Keeper Addy feel very welcome this morning. You can see Bondi as well is quite a bit bigger than Abel, so Bondi is weighing in around 150 kilos. But during the colder months, he does get closer to the 200 kilo mark. Now, when we think of seals, we often associate them with being in the water. However, they do spend about 40% of their time on land. And that ensures that no water at all touches his skin, so his skin is actually completely dry as well. So in the water, they can also perform those grooming behaviors. So you can see he can use a very big and strong front flippers to brush the sides of his face. It can help set free any stop to take that important breath. So each time he leaps out of the water, he's taking his quick breath of air, meaning he can maintain his speed just like that. Well, I think Bono did a great job with that. I think Addy's got a big bucket of fish. You also might have noticed just how easy our seals catch their fish when we throw it to them. And that's because of their incredibly sensitive whiskers that help them with their sense of touch. So let's have a closer look at those whiskers, shall we? Now on the count of three, I'm going to ask you all to yell whiskers and look closely at Bondi's nose. One, two, three. Whiskers! 
beautiful job, Bondi. So using those whiskers and the scented nerve fibers out here is still a little bit lighter than something that he is on his back. You can definitely tell as well that he's getting a lot darker all over compared to a Marley. He does have a thick neck already. Now the females of this species, depending on the individual, when fully grown, will be between 60 to 100 kilos, whereas the males fully grown will be between 3 